Listen, you're lucky you have me as a celly because we know how to look good and have fun in here, okay? Look. Colored pencils. M&M's. Toothbrush. Some flour. Let me show you. You see this M&M? Watch. See that red? And Karina goes, Karina goes, what does it matter that you have good poon poon? He can't even have your poon poon in person. Like, you know, he's paying for your commissary. He's coming to visit you. But like, you know, he, he can't even have it. What's the point? I smell a hater. Karina, chill, okay? It's about the sauce, okay? It's not all about the poon poon. It's about the sauce, okay? And you don't have the sauce, sweetie. How about I tell you something funny? You want to hear something funny? Karina wants to do a strip routine. She wants to do a strip routine for the talent show. I don't know how she's going to get away with that with the gods. But I said, girl, I said, amateur night is in August, not July. Well, look what the cat dragged in if it isn't my sweetheart my new funky you're my new cell inmate i remember you i was checking your scalp for narcotics and such which i still might have to and um gave you that little hair cut okay you had that nice little cut which your hair's grown out pretty fast. It's because you haven't been in here for 60 days yet. So, like, your body still has food from the outside world, which has protein. And so, your hair grows fast. But once you're in here for over 60 days, you know, your body's going to get acclimated to all the prison food. Your hair's going to grow a little slower. Yeah. Say bye to these locks. <laughs> well, anyways... There's something, something different about you today. Yeah. I can tell by, like, your energy that there's something quite different. Oh, you like my nails? You can't have these. Sweet. I mean, no one can have these in prison. Just me. I have my special connections, okay? So let me know what's wrong with you. What's wrong? You just a little bit different today. Just a little bit different. You feel ugly? Don't get soft on me, okay? You can tell me. You can talk to me. Mm hmm Okay. You feel ugly. You miss your makeup. But you're still beautiful, sweetheart. I mean, look. Because if you focus too much on the negative, it'll take you down this rabbit hole of negative thoughts. And you don't really want to go down that rabbit hole, okay? You gotta focus on the positive to get your mind out the gutter. And it'll send you down this negative path. So tell you what. I have some makeup. I have like some... Um, M&M's and stuff from commissary from doing Janine's hair. Yeah, I did her hair and she gave me some of uh, her commissary, some of uh, her M&M's and some other trinkets so we can do your makeup. Listen, you're lucky you have me as a celly because we know how to look good and have fun in here, okay? Look. Colored pencils. M&M's. Toothbrush. Some flour. This is the flour you cook with, sweetie. Look, there's so many different ways that you can do your makeup, okay? And look good still in person, okay? That's the only piece of our identity that we still have in here. So, you know, we may do with what we have, okay? And I'm gonna have you looking so, so pretty, okay? Oh, yeah, of course 
it works it works just like normal makeup yeah let me show you you see the 7m watch see that red Do you see how that adds color to my lips? Absolutely. Do you see that? Yeah, it's gonna work. And that's how I did my blush too, sweetie. Yeah. See how the color came off? Yeah. Just like that, I'm gonna do it for you, okay? So let's get started. Why is he coming to see me still? Because I have him wrapped around my finger. And do you want to know why I have him wrapped around my finger still? Come here. Okay, let's do your makeup. Let's just do your makeup and I'll tell you why he still comes to visit me. So, do you want to start with the M&M's or the colored pencils? So let's do the M&M's. The M&M, like I said, will give you pigments on your lip. And then we're going to use that same pigment for blush. And then you get the bigger color for your eyeshadow, okay? What color do you want for your eyeshadow? Do you want blue eyeshadow? Do you want brown eyeshadow? Do you want yellow eyeshadow? Do you want orange eyeshadow? I mean, we let's really have options here, okay? Blue eyeshadow? Look. Look. Do you see that? And then you just like blend. Do you see that pigment come off on me? That blue? And then all you have to do is just like blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. Blend it like this. Blend, 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 blend. Do you see that? Now, of course, I need to do a better job of blending it and everything. But do you see that blue eyeshadow? Yeah. That's how it works. So what color you want? Blue? I mean, I can make it a lot more pigmented on you because all I gotta do is keep licking the blue eyeshadow off and like, you know, blending it or whatever. Are you grossed out? You're gonna have a fun trip in here if you're grossed out by that, sweetheart. Oh yeah. You want blue? Alright, so let's start with the blue into your eyeshadow first, okay? Okay. So, just blend it, blend it on there. You wanna know why he still comes to see? It pays to have good boys. 
tell you, okay? There's three star poon poon, and then there's five star poon poon. The ten out of ten poon poon. Close your eyes, sweetheart. Now, okay, now I'm going to use this red one for your blush, like I have one right here. You see that pigment? Yeah, I'm going to use this for your blush and for your lips, okay? okay. Do you want, like, a lot of pigment or do you just want a light? You want some pigment to come through? Okay, sweetie. Let me, what can I say? I have that irresistible poon poon, you know? And then Karina goes, Karina goes, What does it matter that you have good poon poon? He can't even have your poon poon in person. Like, you know, he's paying for your commissary, he's coming to visit you, but like, you know, he, he can't even have it. What's the point? She's like, she's like, she was asking me for pointers. She was like, well, how do you do it? How do you have good poon poon? How do you? I said, Karina, chill, okay? It's about the sauce, okay? It's not all about the poon poon. It's about the sauce, okay? And you don't have the sauce, sweetie. She doesn't have the sauce. Only a select few. Only a select few are born with the sauce, okay? And I have that, yeah. So my man comes, he pays, he puts money on my books, you know, I have snacks, I have hot Cheetos, I have Cool Ranch Doritos, I have little Debbie snack cakes, I have art supplies, the list goes on. Yeah, like I said, it's a horrible place to be. Blood, 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 blood. But, you know, you gotta make the best of the situations and having a little bit of money on your books sure does make it a hell of a lot easier. Okay. Blend, 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 blend on your cheeks. Go like this. We're just gonna add a little bit more. Just a little bit more like that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna blend. It's all about blending, you know. You have to blend the makeup out really well because the pigment is there from the food. Okay, next I'm gonna put a little bit of that on your lips and then I'm gonna line it so okay, I'm gonna line it with this okay that's the lip liner or whatever do you want to lick it yourself because I know it's a little nasty it's around your mouth sweet you want to lick it yeah lick it okay I go like this We need more, so go ahead and lick it some more, sweetie. There you go. Just like a little bit more. All right, good. Oh my gosh. So much pigment. Perfect. Okay. Now, go like this. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to get this out. I'm going to get the red color out and align your lips, okay? So I'm just going to... I take this... And I dip it in some water. Okay, this is my supply from working in the gel beauty salon. So I just take this, dip it in there, and then it comes off. So I'm gonna go ahead and add water to it. And I'm just gonna line your lips. You have really pretty shaped lips. Yeah. But you are starting to lose a little bit of your pigment, you know, eating the food in here. That happens. Yeah. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. I'm going to put a little bit more water. And then we're just going to add a little bit. Just a little bit of shape to your upper lips right here. Perfect. Now, 
You look so good so far, but your face is a little oily, so we're just going to add some powder. We have powder here, yeah. Do you want to know what it's made of? Flour. All-purpose flour, like flour that you bake with. Yes, look. Yeah, look. Do you see that? We're going to use that on your face. Yes, we are. Come here. Just going to grab a little bit on my hands like that. I'm just gonna powder you because you need some. Yeah, you need you got oil going on here. So look, just put some on my skin like this. You see that? You see that? And it just eats that oil right on up. Go ahead and just put that on. But you tell me about yourself. Visitation day is coming up, sweetie. Who is coming to see you? You got a girl at home, a guy at home. What do you have at home? Anybody coming to see you? More. Yeah, more. Oh, you don't want to talk about it. No one's coming to see you, huh? Look, it's okay. You can warm up. Take your time. You don't have to open up to me just yet. Yeah, no, I do like to get into people's business, but you know. I do expect to know a little something, right? I mean, after I'm doing all your hair and your makeup. Just kidding. You can tell me later, sweetie. All right. A little bit more, just a little bit more, yeah. Perfect. Oh my gosh. You look amazing, sweetheart. I mean, when you walked in here, you are looking like the walking dead, but no. You look like you're ready to go to the Oscars. You go, Glen Coco. I love it. How do you feel? So, do you want to work on your hair? I have a new curling iron. I mean, it's not anything fancy, but I did buy one with my commissary money. It was super expensive, but I'd love to use it on you. Yeah? Okay, come sit down. Watch your head, sweetheart. What is that? Wait. Hold still, hold still. I guess Carla didn't mop. These things, look, after you've been in prison for a while, these things are like your new pet in here. I know. She was supposed to mop and she didn't. So, do you want to just curl your ends a little bit yeah okay well the iron's hot now sweetie so I'm gonna go ahead and start curling here but let's chit chat you know let's go ahead and brush it and then I'm gonna clip it and suction it and then curl it a little bit okay but how have you been holding up lately? Yeah, how have you been doing? How is your mental doing? Not very good. I'm not surprised. I mean, look. This is the last place that you want to end up. So when you end up in here, you got to make the best of the situation. You gotta get your mind right, and you gotta focus on your life, you know, I mean, that's what you gotta do, you have two choices, you can either go down this negative rabbit hole, or you can do something positive, you know, and speaking of something positive, we have the present talent show coming up. And no, it's not coming up real soon anything, but it's around the corner. So we like to like have something to look forward to, you know. We like to have something that we can look forward to. So that's on my calendar too. Um, go ahead and clip your hair up here. Put 
perfect. I'm going to use this clip right here to go ahead and clip over there. So, ouch. yeah, that's not all right for the prison talent show. In order to participate, you need two commissary items, just two. So it could be like, you know, anything you want, two items. And then, oh, look at that cool. Look at that little wave you got going. Look at that. That's a nice little wave there. We don't want to like do any like, you know, crazy curls or anything on you. Just a little bit, just a little curl, you know. But the winner, okay, the winner of the talent search gets everyone's commissary items. Yeah. So, like, that means that for the winner, it's like tax return time around here. Yeah. It's a lot of commissary snacks. I mean, you're going to be walking around like a millionaire with all those commissary items. So, basically, the winner is going to need security. Yeah, they're going to need security for at least a week or until they can finish all the snacks. Mm hmm Yeah. So basically, um, Big Bertha over there, you see how that lady, Big Bertha, she acts like the security guard in here, and of course you gotta pay her to be a security guard, but she's gonna, she's gonna be the security guard, and she's gonna make sure that no one hurts the person that wins, because, you know, you do get beat up for having commissary items in prison, if you, that's a target, it's like having a, you know, a purse full of money. It makes it makes you a target. Yeah, it sure does. So all the girls are practicing their little talent or whatever, you know. So do you have any talents? Oh my gosh. You know how to do that? You should definitely do that. You should definitely do that. Oh, you don't have money to participate? You don't have two items? Oh, that's okay. Look, come here. I have a little bit of money saved up. A little commissary item with just money in here. Saved up from being a beautician or whatever. So you can have some of mine. I mean... You are going to need to pay me back, though, or else I'll get Big Bertha on you, okay? Make sure I get my commissary items back. I'm just saying, sometimes these girls want to think that I'm all nice and goody-goody, but you know what? You can still get it, okay? They think I'm nice, but, you know, when you mess with me, you can still get some trouble. But tell me, do your people on the outside not put money on your books? I mean, do you have loved ones out there? Or what's that like? If you want to share, of course. You know what? Let's not talk about that today. Happy thoughts only, okay? You can share that another time if you feel comfortable. How about I tell you something funny? You want to hear something funny? Karina wants to do a strip routine. She wants to do a strip routine for the talent show. I don't know how she's going to get away with that with the gods. But I said, girl, I said, amateur night is in August, not July. <laughs> yeah, that's actually amateur night too. The gods definitely don't know about that one. Yeah. I'll get into that another time. But, um, she wants to. But look, the thing about Karina is... Oh, she was a phenomenal dancer before she got in prison. You'll have to ask her why she got in prison. I don't like telling the girl's business. But come here, let me tell you something. I'll tell you something personal about her. Legend.
Yeah. The married men. If they got a private dance from Karina, it was it was over for the wives. That's the that's the word on the street. That's what legend says. Okay. So you didn't hear it from me, but yeah, girls got moves. Girls got moves. But anyways, your curls down at the bottom were looking so so pretty. And your makeup, oh my gosh, girl. You, you, you look like you're ready to go to the Oscars, I'm telling ya. She's got moves and she probably has that good boon boon. But anyways, oh my gosh, your hair looks so beautiful down here. And your makeup, oh god, the makeup looks flawless. I mean, you look like you're ready to go to the Oscars or the Grammys or something. I mean, you would never guess we were going to bed. But look, I wanted to do this for you. I wanted to cheer you up, you know? You can't you can't keep your head down, okay? You got to you got to get uplifted. You got to get your mind, you know, to get positive and you got to look good and feel good because all of your identity is taken in here, you know? I mean, we are in prison for a reason. We don't have any type of, you know, individuality in here. And we got to create our own individuality. I know. And so, I'm glad I can make you look good and feel good. You look amazing. So, why don't you go and look in the toilet? Look in the toilet. Yeah, we don't have mirrors, obviously. I used to look in the door right there, but the reflection isn't all that. And then I started looking in the toilet, and it was just like way better. So check it out and let me know what you think. You like it? You like your makeup and you like your hair? Oh, that makes me so happy to hear. It really, really does. Look. There's other things I can do with your makeup involving like deodorant and stuff and all these other tips and tricks. Yeah, all these are the tips and tricks I can use to do your makeup the next time. Tonight was like a little practice or whatever. But I gotta hit the sheets. I have to get up early tomorrow to work at the prison beauty salon. So, yeah. You remember what I told you, okay? You keep your mind positive and thoughts out the gutter. Stop thinking about the bad stuff. Get you a little calendar. Put the put the visitation day. Put the amateur night on there. Put the prison uh, talent show on there. You know, you know, get, have stuff to look forward to. They have all kinds of classes and stuff too that I'll tell you about later. You know, and yeah, you know. I mean, it's not the best place to be, but you gotta make the best of it, right? And that applies to life out there too. Yeah, well, I got to get some beauty rest, okay? So, you admire your beauty, and I'm going to go get some Z's, okay? Good night, good night.